Gandhi said thoughts become words, words become actions, action become habits. Your habits become your values, your values become your destiny. Let's look at destiny in relation to the imagination. Imagination tends to be voluntary. Destiny only exists when you imagine. To imagine is to be limitless. Knowledge is power with limits, which makes the imagination more important than knowledge. It allows us to go deep into the infinite potential of the subconscious mind. What is your vision for your life? The path you choose to take that leads you to a life of your dreams fulfilled. What do you imagine? Let me or allow me to tell a vision. Did you hear it? Television. Did you hear it? I'll slow it down. Someone gives you their vision so you will create the life of their dreams and make it real in your imagination. They tell a vision that is not yours and call it entertainment, when in actuality, it is intercontainment. It keeps your mind confined within those very narrow limits. You experience TV programming. What channel are you tuned into? Is it channeling negative energy or positive energy? What do you imagine when you hear the news or watch drama TV? What are your thoughts that become words? What actions do you take? There's an expression I heard by Mr. Rome, finish before you start. It is also biblical that we get what we create in our minds, then say with our mouths. When the pyramids were built, the design, the architecture had to first be seen in the mind. It had to be completed first in the mind then the Egyptians would be ready to work. Think about it. Whoever controls the information, if you're not careful, could just as easily control you. Tell a vision. You're being given or told a vision that is not yours. Look at the word super derived from superior. Superman was always Superman. We just didn't know it. Isn't it interesting he never looked any different and yet no one recognized him, not even Lois. He wore his costume under his regular clothes. The only thing different were his glasses. Will Smith in Hancock was saving people and he was hated. Iron Man with Robert Downey Jr. was taking bodies and he was loved. See the mental programming? If it hasn't sunk in, when Black Panther hit the theaters, there were parties everywhere. People were crossing their arms across their chest saying Wakanda forever. The energy was insane. Question. When have you seen this kind of reaction from a Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Aquaman movie? The list goes on. What was the message in King Kong when African men sacrificed their women to King Kong? What are we being taught to think? What are we being programmed to believe? What do we imagine for ourselves when we consider that to destroy our people, you simply take away their ability to love? You give them nothing beautiful to imagine. Have them hate their skin, hair, facial features. Show them at their worst. The women blaming the men and the men blaming the women. Constant shows of toxic drama as we tear down things first in our minds long before we speak, creating chaos. Unable to see the importance of working together and loving one another because we've envisioned what we have been shown as real in our minds. Causing many of us to live in fear of our own imagination attracting what we are unaware of that we choose to give attention to as opposed to considering. Positive thoughts result in positive words being spoken, positive actions being taken, creating positive habits that become core values allowing us to manifest our destiny with an imagination that says all things are possible. What is your vision? What do you imagine?
MBA Street. 